hi. My name is Nicarto. I may look rather unusual, but well, that's how things are. I help tell the story of some German tourists who visit Uganda, a country Winston Churchill described as the Pearl of Africa. You will get to know a few facts about this beautiful country, visit a few places in and around Kampala, before subsequently heading west to visit Queen Elizabeth National Park. Okay, let's go. Some facts about Uganda. Uganda is a landlocked country in East Africa, with South Sudan in the north, Kenya in the east, Tanzania in the south, Rwanda in the southwest and the DR Congo in the west. Independence, October 9, 1962. Total area, 241,038 square kilometers. 15% of which is water. Population estimate, about Tebi, the journey continues by car to Kampala, 37 kilometers away where we will briefly have a bird eyes view from an altitude of 21,000 meters using Google Earth, before zooming in. Kampala from an altitude of 21.5 kilometers, we shall zoom down and look at a number of places in and around the city. The Uganda National Museum in Kitant, we then go a few kilometers outside Kampala, on Jinjia Road to the Nelson Mandela National Stadium in Bwayagayrere. The countless minibuses you see around, locally known as Matatus are used as shared taxis, and together with the equally countless Boda Boda motorcycles are the main means of transport for paying customers. 
the drivers can be quite reckless. We shall now have a look at a number of places in and around Kampala, beginning with this young tourist from England enjoying a meal of martoke, somewhere in nearby Mukano. And was the means of parking our A good one. Main dozam. For me, The Bolangi building, which is the administrative headquarters of the Kingdom of Buganda, houses its Lukiko or Parliament. The offices of the Kabarkar or King and Kartikiro or Prime Minister are also located there.
the Kasubi tombs, which are a UNESCO World Heritage Site is the location of the burial grounds for four Karbarkas or kings of Bukanda and other members of the Bukanda royal family. It's an important spiritual and political site, as well as an example of traditional architecture. Lastly, we shall visit King's College Budo, which is located several kilometers outside Kampala in Biji district. Opened in 1906, originally to educate sons of chiefs, it's one of Africa's oldest schools, with notable alumni in all key areas of society including royals, politicians and academicians. Uganda has a number of fauna and flora-rich national parks and game reserves. The national parks are shown on the coming map. Some of the few remaining mountain gorillas in the world are found in the southwest in Mugarhinga and Bwindi National Parks. We are however going to travel via Fort Portal and Karsese to Queen Elizabeth National Park, up to the Karzinga Channel. We will also visit Kilembe, at one time with one of the largest copper mining operations in the region.
the Karzinga Channel in the Queen Elizabeth National Park is about 32 km long and connects Lake George and Edward. It attracts a varied range of mammals, reptiles, and birds throughout the year and has one of the world's largest concentration of hippos. There are also lots of crocs and buffaloes. A boat cruise service is available. These giants, which weigh well over a ton and capable of speeds of 30 km per hour are territorial quite bad tempered and probably kill more people in Africa than any other wild animal. Killam Bay area. You can see some of the immense damage caused in 2013 by the worst floods in almost 50 years by the Niamwamba River. There are only about 900 of these critically endangered gentle giants left in the wild. You can see them in Mugarhinger and Windy Impenetrable National Parks in southwest Uganda, as well as in northwest Rwanda and Virunger National Park in the DR Congo. Thank you. 
White water rafting and kayaking are very much available for adrenaline junkies on the River Nile around Jinjia, as it charges north on the 6400km journey from Lake Victoria to the Mediterranean. Special thanks go to Hare Heart Moot Manchua for the background music. Visit www.habarisearch.com community portal for African recipes, news, proverbs, daily licensed software giveaways and submit your business free, with or without a website to our comprehensive web directory for East and Southern Africa.